Majorana. 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 Majorana fermions are fermions that are their own antiparticles and to our current knowledge, they don't exist as elementary particles. But recently, they've been proposed to appear as emergent quasi-particles in condensed matter systems. These solid-state Majoranas would allow for fault-protected, so-called topological quantum computation, which is also the topic of the recent focus issue of New Journal of Physics. There is only one problem with them, they have not yet been observed in experiments. In our work, we focus on uh, signatures of Majoranas in the transfer properties of systems involving superconductors. Uh, one of the fundamental properties of a superconductor is its particle hole symmetric excitation spectrum, which means that for every particle like state at positive energy, there is an antiparticle like state at negative energy. This means that states always come in pairs, with the exception of a special point namely e equals to zero right at the Fermi energy. A particle is always its own antiparticle and thus, by definition, a Majorana Fermi. Now, not every superconductor can support Majoran fermions, those that can are called topological superconductors. Recently, there have been several proposals how to engineer topological superconductors in hybrid systems. Most of the proposals involve a nanowire in proximity to an ordinary superconductor, and that Majoranas then appear as end states in the system. It is then often proposed to use an STM tip to measure the existence of Majoranas, the Majoranas would then reflect themselves as a peak at zero bias voltage in the DID characteristic. Unfortunately, such a measurement can only give an indication that there is a Majorana, but not a strictly prove them. And the reason is that STM only gives an indication that there is a state, but it does not probe the Majorana nature. This means that we cannot distinguish a Majorana fermion from some ordinary subgap excitation which is close to zero energy. In contrast, we propose to probe the Majorana by coupling more strongly to the nanowire, namely via a quantum point contact. At first glance, coupling more strongly seems to be counterproductive because the Majorana actually can't escape from the superconductor into the normal metal, but as you will see, it leaves behind the signature that can be still found in the transport properties. In the following, I will explain the signature of the Majorana fermions using results from a representative simulation. This plot shows the conductance of the point contact as a function of the gate potential applied to it. And in the absence of a superconductor, as shown with this dashed black line here, the conductance goes up in steps of E squared over H as we vary the gate potential. E squared over H instead of 2 E squared over H because spin degeneracy is broken. Now, what happens if we couple a superconductor to the quantum point contact? The transport process, in this case, and rate reflection, carries a charge of 2E. Now, one would think that the steps, the conductance steps, should become twice as large. Instead, we observe that they become four times as large, meaning that we get a fundamental conductance quantum of 4E squared over H. Furthermore, we see that for an ordinary superconductor, the conductance becomes zero as long as the point contact transmits at most one mode, while the topological superconducting phase shows a quantized conductance of 2e squared over h. Due to this contribution from the single mode transmission, the um, topological superconductor shows a half integer conductance quantization. Both the unexpected doubling of the conductance quantum, as well as the um, single mode behavior, are a direct consequences of the particle hole symmetry of the system. So far, we've considered a clean case. Adding this order destroys most of the conductance steps, but leaves the single mode quantization intact. This means that the single mode regime can be used as a robust and unambiguous probe of the Majorana fermion. Without Majorana, zero conductance. With Majorana, quantized conductance of 2 squared over h. This quantization is a direct probe of the Majorana nature, 
because it originates from the same particle hole symmetry which guarantees the properties of the Majorana fermion in the first place. Note that the quantization extends from the tunneling regime, a tunneling regime which is still different from the STM experiment because the signal mode dominates, to the open regime where one channel fully transmits. The quantization in the tunneling regime is very sensitive to finite temperatures and voltages, and it is thus beneficial to work in the open regime which is orders of magnitude less sensitive. We hope that our proposal gives experiments just that benefit that is still needed to detect Majoranas experimentally, and we look forward to the further uh, developments in this exciting field.